As we all know, one of the core promises Donald Trump made in 2016 was building a border wall taller than the emotional wall between himself and his children. But America's economy is dependent on immigrants, and even someone who hates immigrants as much as Trump can't run his businesses without them. I went into the field to learn more. Over the past 10 months, investigators have uncovered dozens of undocumented workers toiling at Donald Trump's many bed-bugged golf slums. But that hasn't stopped him from continuing to exploit and abuse these workers as recently as August of this year. Luckily, several of them have now come forward and are building a legal case to take on Trump. But who are these unsung heroes? Wearing the foolproof disguise of day-drunk white woman, I infiltrated a golf course and sat down with four people who worked with Trump for years, intimately. Uh, just to take care of Mr. Trump, mm -hmm. every Sunday comes and play golf. Eric Trump to all the family of Trump. Yo era la dama de llaves de la casa de él. Yo tenía que hacer todo al cuidado personal de él. They were in charge of his personal care? Oh my God, I have so many questions. But the one I'm legally allowed to ask is, were you told that you didn't need papers to work there? Bueno, cuando yo llegué allí, yo le pregunté a ella, o sea, a la supervisora, aquí no necesitan papeles? No, no, no importa, me dice. Pero en el 2016 empezaron a pedir papeles. Entonces me dice el man, este muchacho la va a llevar a un lugar donde hacen ese esos papeles. So it was your supervisor at the golf course who helped get you fake papers. Sí. Y él me dio 175 que pagué por el, los dos documentos. Okay. When he was running for president, was there a time when you thought, oh, this is going to be so good for us because he knows us? Yes, we thought that in the beginning. Sí, hasta que él empezó a expresar mal de nosotros. Cuando él ya empezó su campaña, de ese tiempo ya no dejaron que yo entrara a la casa de él. Ya entraba solo a la casa de Ivanka y a veces cuando iba Eric. So you weren't permitted to clean Trump's house anymore, but you were permitted to clean Ivanka's house and Eric's treehouse. I assume he lives in a treehouse. And when he wants to get his dad's attention, he just throws acorns at him. Once he became president, did they just start firing people all over the place? No, a nadie despidieron. Cuando él entró de presidente, me regalaron un diploma por mi agradecimiento de mi trabajo. Okay. De la Casa Blanca. Oh, a diploma from the White House. That's at least as valuable as one of these diplomas. Ugh. But when the failing New York Times did expose Trump for illegal labor practices, the diploma stopped and the firings started. Nos sacó a nosotros. ¿Para qué? Para que no nos encontraran a él teniendo personas ilegales trabajando. Nosotros no solamente hablamos, hablamos con pruebas. Mm -hmm. Tenemos payrolls, tenemos que nosotros pagamos taxes sin ningún beneficio. Ahí había muchas injusticias. La supervisora me ponía dobles trabajos y ella me decía, no, pero es que así es como hay que tratar a los inmigrantes y que si nosotros hablábamos, migración iba a llegar. Y cuando él hablaba y decía que nosotros éramos unos inmigrantes violadores, decía la supervisora, good, good, eso es nice, dice, porque migrantes no good, garbage. Do you think that it made your working conditions even harder when he started speaking that way? Sí, hubieron muchos, muchos insultos que incluso llegó a pegarme tres veces. Entonces decidí hablar porque ya era mucho las injusticias. Excuse me, just gonna step outside for some rage air. This is a goddamn golf course. Isn't there a lawyer somewhere who can assure me that there could be consequences, that this is a crime? Donald Trump and the Trump Organization are running and engaging in a multi-state criminal conspiracy. Thank you. Immigration lawyer David Leopold is consulting on the worker's case. What kind of criminal violations are we talking about here? Bigger than a bread box, smaller than a P tape. You're talking about forced labor and coercion. You're talking about trafficking. The penalties for those types of crimes, we're talking 20 years in prison. It's a very well-documented, undocumented clusterfuck, basically. Right. By the way, the Trump Organization is not this vast organization. Mm -hmm. We're talking about Donald Trump, we're talking about Ivanka, we're talking about Eric. It is a small, family-run organization. Do you believe that there are still undocumented workers at the Trump properties? Yes, because every time we pull off another layer, mm -hmm. more undocumented workers pop out. I'm surprised. Yeah. We started off with Victorina and Sandra, 
Now there's 40 plus employees that were abused. Mm -hmm. Donald Trump has become the poster boy for why we need immigration reform in this country. He's also the poster boy for ketchup abuses of steak. The workers have handed their evidence over to law enforcement, and in the meantime, they are not backing down. No me da miedo. Porque yo sé que no estamos solos, estamos luchando. Nosotros tenemos la verdad. Y cuando el presidente de los Estados Unidos está mintiendo y tú tienes la verdad, no puedes ocultarlo. Él es un hipócrita, mentiroso, racista. And he cheats at golf. Sí. 